First things first, let's head over to maintenance meter. Now in order to do this, you're gonna go to the high road cross if you don't already have that side of grace. If you do, then just spawn there. Once you get there, go over to uh, Murth Ruins. If you have the grace there, you can just go directly there. Uh, drop down the hole, but don't go down the big hole immediately. Go to the left, there should be a gap between buildings that leads you down to the bottom of that hole. Then go through the tunnel in that hole that leads to a ladder. That ladder should take you up to Bonnie Village, and as you can see, you can cross Bonnie Village and then take the path for Bonnie Village all the way. And instead of taking it straight to Shadow Keep, take a left, and you're gonna get to Main Emitter at some point. Now head over to the side of Grace, rest there so you save your spot, and right after you should go over to Count Ymir. Once you talk to him, it's going to give you a map fragment that's going to tell you where to go, but honestly you can just search it up, or I'm going to tell you right now where to go. If you go a bit back to the right, near the exit on the side to the graveyard, you should see Jolin sitting against a pillar and you can even talk to her as well. Now this next part, in order to find this, you're going to have to go to the Cerulean Coast if you don't know how to get there. Uh, travel to the side of Grace at Castle Front, and then go east down the path. That you're going to go past a bunch of monsters, and then follow the cliff that's like, follow the cliff immediately to your left, and it should drop you to a bunch of other cliffs. Now at the bottom of this cliff you should be able to see a giant flower type uh, enemy that's going to be guarding a cave entrance. If you go inside of the cave and keep going all the way down the cave, not only will you find a side of grace, you're also going to find a revered spirit ash on your right before that grace. Now if you keep continuing through the cave and go down the waterfall route, follow the waterfall all the way and use torrent to jump between the rock pillars that are going to be sticking out of the water. Keep going south down the waterfall until you reach another side of grace. Uh, between these two graves, the first one should be the Alak River Cave, and the second one should be the Alak River Downstream. Now, when you go down the ravine following the river, there's going to be a giant furnace golem that's uh, patrolling the area. If you stick to your right, you're going to be able to both avoid it and go into the tiny gap that's going to take you directly to the Cerulean Coast. Uh, that's going to be at the end of the river before it turns into a giant waterfall. You're going to see a route that goes southwest, and that's going to be the entrance to the Cerulean Coast. Now that you're at the Cerulean Coast, you can follow this map that's going to take you all the way to the Finger Ruins of Rhea, where you're going to be able to ring the bell, I'm going to show you that next. Now when you return to County Emmer and you tell him uh, this, you're going to be able to get the next map fragment that's going to take you to the Finger Ruins of Dio, and after this you can even talk to Jolan if you want. Now, for this next part, you're going to need the Shadow Keep back gate. If you don't know how to get there already, let me explain to you. You're going to want to enter the Shadow Keep from the eastern entrance, which is going to be really easy since you're already at Manus Mitter. Once you do that, you're going to want to jump across to the building from the side of Grace there, run to the right, jump to the next building where you're going to have two red guys pop out of the ground. You want to go to the southeast corner of that building. You can jump from there to the rightmost wall. You can go along that wall, jump to the next building, go to the left where you're going to have a fire nightmare whatever you call it go past that go to the left and there should be an area where you should be able to jump from this roof to the diagonal pillar of the large building now that large building when you get to the top has a hole in the roof drop down not into the water into the floor and instead of going to the locked door where you found fire knight um Quillen, go over to the two crabs, go to the right, fight the two fire mages or run past them if you want and now you should be able to get to the loft entrance now the loft side of Grace has an elevator near it. When you take it up, it's going to take you to a bunch of bridges. Um, when you look directly across from the loft that you're standing at, there should be a hole in the wall that's similar to the one you just came in from that should lead you outside. You want to get there. So what you're going to do is look directly ahead. There should be a ladder. Go up that, go to the opposite wall, drop down to that circular area, then drop down to the beam next to it. And once you walk across and drop down again, you should be near that hole in the wall that's going to lead you outside. Now from this outside area, follow the wooden path that's going to take you up two flights of stairs, maybe three, and you're going to eventually get to another elevator. Take that elevator down, then take the lift, the one that you step on, all the way down, and you should be on another side of Grace. And from here, you're now at the Shadow Keep back. Now at the Shadow Keep back gate, you're going to need a gesture called Oh Mother. In order to get this, we're going to look back at this map. You're going to want to go over to Bonnie Village. And from the side of Grace that you get to Bonnie Village from, you're going to want to go straight, jump over the ravine, and then right after you go right over the ravine where the bridge is broken, instead of going straight, go left or north, going all the way down until you get to a tree. And under that tree, there's going to be a headless figure that's going to have the gesture. Now you're going to need this gesture when you go back to the back gate because there's going to be a statue on the room on your right that's only going to be able to move to the side to reveal a path for you if you use this gesture. Now from this hidden path, you can follow the path that's showing on the screen uh, all the way to the Finger Ruins of Dio where you're just going to have to ring another bell like you did before. 
Now when you talk to Count Yemir again, he's going to give you a third map fragment that looks just like Manus Mitter because it is. The ruins are underneath it. What you're going to want to do is exhaust your dialogue with Count Yemir and then you're going to keep going to the side of Grace until he disappears. Once the throne is empty, go up to it and interact with it. It's going to move to the side and reveal a ladder going all the way down to the finger ruins of Metter. And you're going to have to fight Jolin first. And after you fight Jolin, you're going to go and ring the bell. And when you ring the bell, you're going to fight the Mother of Fingers. And after you do that, well, let's see. Now, once you return to Manus Mitter, you're going to have to go up to the throne that's going to be empty and interact with it, at which point Jolin's going to appear again and fight you. You need to defeat her. The moment you defeat her, you're going to fight Count Ymir again, and now he's going to be able to summon a bunch of fingers and use magic spells against you, but it's pretty easy to kill him. Once you do kill him, you can either give Jolin, who's going to be leaning against the same pillar, you'll always see her clinging to life, you're going to be able to either give her the Iris of Grace or the Iris of Occultation. Now, it's the same thing with uh, Fire Knight, where either you can get her weapon or her summon, and depending on which one you've already used you can only do one so be careful what you choose